Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to uh, do a reading for the month of December. This is the second December reading that I'm doing. I will tag the other one at the end. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for any time in December. This is not a private reading, so it may not resonate with you at all. I feel like there's some sort of addiction that is getting in the way of success. And it's inhibiting you. I don't know what the addiction is. And I'm sure that somebody's going to say, I don't have any addictions. Well, then this reading isn't for you, okay? And maybe, maybe you don't. Maybe just that portion of it isn't for you. But I can see that there's some sort of heaviness... Um, that is impacting you and I think it's something that you need to let go of which is an addiction right there's something that needs to be let go of if you can't let go of it it's because you're addicted to it so yeah, that's what an addiction is okay so Sagittarius what does Sagittarius need to know for December so I'm not sure what it is but I feel very heavily it feels like it's causing you to you know I need to breathe it's like there's communication issues. It's like I can't breathe, you know, that kind of thing. It's like overwhelming. Now, I have to remind you that you don't have to prove yourself. And I think that you're always trying to prove yourself. Now, this is about letting go of ego. It's the very first card. Somebody is needing to let go of their ego about um, perhaps being rejected or wanting to win. You know, when you have to win an argument or whatever it is, it's because of your ego. And that's with everybody. I'm just saying that's what this card is. This is a card of victim mentality. Is This is make victim mentality, insecurity. You can ask for help, but somebody's not asking for help. And maybe you need to ask for help. Now, fives are about choices and change. So if you want to change, you're going to have to make the choice to do so. Ooh, some, there's some deception here. There's some shady, sneaky shit going on. Trying to get away with it. Trying to, somebody's trying to get away with something. And you're on the defensive. You're like you're ready to you're ready to hurt somebody. It's caused you to feel exhausted. This constant fight fight is causing exhaustion for you. You know, it's stealing your energy. By you engaging in pettiness with other people, it's it's distracting you from success. You're dealing with somebody that is petty and they've caused you to lose your focus. You, this is a card of change as well. Somebody needs to make a change and it's you. Do not expect anybody else to change. The biggest mistake anybody can have in this whole lifetime is expecting others to change. The only person that can change is you. Don't expect anybody, don't expect anything from anybody. That's what I'm trying to say. Things have been chaotic, things have been disorganized, things have been unbalanced because you have to make that decision. It's the decisions in your hands, nobody else's, to break free from something, to liberate yourself. You're cheating yourself from success by not taking a step. You got to take the step. Nobody else can take it for you. Nobody. You got to walk away from something. You have to walk away from anything that does not emotionally support you. 
that does not emotionally fulfill you have to literally turn your back and walk away. You have to set intentions, new intentions. You have to face the unknown. The moon is the unknown. Yeah, you're going to have to walk away from something that doesn't serve you and face the unknown. But you haven't found, you have, that's why you haven't had success. You haven't been successful because you haven't taken action. You're letting yourself be manipulated and played by other people because you're afraid to take that step. And somebody's going to say, I'm not afraid. Well, why are you what? I mean, you, you don't need a tarot reading then, right? Your life is perfect. You shouldn't be watching tarot readings. Somebody is not bringing success to their life because they're not taking any action. This is clear as mud. You have the power. You have the power to shed. You have the power to make changes. You have the tools within you to do whatever you want to be successful. But you have to take that step. You have to take that ball in your hand. It's up to you. You have to make that call. You have to wake up. You have to release. You have to forgive even if it hurts. There's an opportunity to start over in a new direction. But the only way that you are going to start over in that new direction is to release and walk away make that judgment call to release anything 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 that doesn't serve you goodbye see ya this doesn't serve me I gotta let it go wake up call it's time to wake up and make that judgment okay you make that judgment it's like you know what I see what this is I'm going to take action, which you haven't taken action to bring success to your life. You need to break. This is liberation. This is release, forgive, walk away from anything that does not serve your highest good. That's what's holding you back. And, you know, this is like leave the past hurts behind. That's what this, if you were to look it up. Leave the past hurts behind. You can't bring them with you. They bring, if you bring them with you, they're just going to continue to hold you down. Heavy, 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 heavy. So it looks as though this is a time where you need to release and forgive. This is a forgiveness, forgive, forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. Forgiveness is needed. And if you can't forgive, you will not bring success. You will not be successful if you can't forgive people that have hurt you. Remember, don't expect anybody else to change. Maybe you need to move. Turn away from the family feud. Turn away from the fight. <laughs> Stop lying to yourself, pretending that Things are going to get better. You have to you have to step outside of your comfort zone. That's what this is about. You being pushed outside of your comfort zone. This is rapid. Something happened happening very fast. Justice. When you step outside of your comfort zone and you decide to take that step and make a change, you will receive the justice that you deserve. Part of this justice is balance in your life. I'll, instead of things going being like this, there'll be there'll, things will even out very quickly, very quickly. You're gonna receive something, but you have to be honest. You have to be honest with yourself about whatever it is that's hurting you. And somebody's been trying to bury what's hurting them with addictions of some sort and just trying to 
escape it when you can't escape it you have to walk away you have to leave something behind that's holding you back to receive the justice that you deserve to bring the balance back to your life you have to make a move Even if it brings conflict into your life, you may feel like you don't want to deal with any more conflict. Well, it is what it is, right? Sometimes you deal with people that don't think before they talk. Maybe that's you. People that don't think before they talk bring instant conflict. Instant. They do. You could be dealing with somebody, could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, could be anybody, could be specifically Libra, I don't know, could be any sign. You could be dealing with somebody who is causing a lot of chaos in your life. They're very petty, they're very argumentative, they're just ugh, childish. You're dealing with a childish individual who keeps poking you, and you let them, you let them. This person in this trying to escape. Somebody is, I think it's you, trying to escape the reality of what this is. Addictions, again. So there's definitely trying to hide the truth here or trying to, and you're probably like, oh, it's the other person. Well, you have to accept the truth. And this is a card of acceptance. You don't, it's like you don't want to, you have to accept it, okay? Something isn't working out. Somebody needs to walk away from something that is addictive, but they can't because, for one, they, they have these fears that are holding them back, fears of the unknown. But there's a lot of deception here. There's a lot of lies. There's a lot of gossip going back and forth. It's just like, it's bullshit. You're dealing with somebody who is bringing a lot of drama into your life. They're stealing your energy, but you're allowing it because you don't have the balls to walk away. But you can spout off, right? You can, you can, uh, the old, the old vocal cords are working. Words are one thing, actions are another. You have to make that decision to step outside of something that is basically caused you a lot of confusion. You didn't, it's like it's not a, a, some, a situation that it has any reality to it. Um, it's very, somebody made, made a wrong choice to involve themselves with a situation that was an illusion of some sort, you know what I mean? You have other options, but somebody did not choose wisely here. They didn't make the right choice. But this is make a new make a new choice. At the time you have the opportunity right now to make another choice. The best choice for you to face the unknown, to bring balance back to your life. So you are going to be presented with a opportunity to make a new choice. But when you make this new choice, you are going to have to deal with some conflict and you're gonna to have to face the unknown. And you're gonna to have to stop focusing on all the loss that you've had in your life. You keep focusing on that loss, which you've been doing. Keep focusing on the hurt. Keep focusing on the conflict. Don't forgive. Bury the truth. Whatever. You keep doing that, you're going to keep missing an opportunity for emotional fulfillment. If you don't see that there's an emotional fulfillment in another direction, well, that's your choice. That's your choice. You have to choose to look in another direction. You're going to be presented with that opportunity to turn your back on somebody, something, walk away, forgive, and release. And not look back. 
You're going to be presented with the opportunity to walk away from something that has really hurt you. And when I say you walk away, you turn your back and you walk away without saying one word. You have, a, you have a better opportunity waiting for you to see it. You're at that crossroads. You have to make that choice. Choice is all over in this reading. It's your choice. Your choice alone. You choose to live in chaos. You choose to live in an unharmonious situation. You choose to stay stuck. Well, that's your choice. But you also have a choice to go down a new path. You're going to be presented with that choice this month. But you're holding on to something very tightly. Why? Why? And I, you know, you, you don't have to put no explanation down there. But you, whatever, somebody is holding on to something that they feel like is stable, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but there's communication issues. Whatever you're holding on to, there's like communication issues, big time. But you're holding on to it for dear life. Why? Because it feels like it's stable. You're afraid to open Pandora's box because it's something tangible. It's, it's, it's related to money. Yeah, it maybe it puts a roof over your head or something. I don't know what it is, but you're holding on to it. But it's so emotionally unfulfilling. You need to choose wisely. Do you choose the stuff or do you choose love? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? I see that you may be presented with an opportunity to move. Like move, like move, like either move jobs, move home, move out of relationship, move, like move. But you're staying where you're at because it's stable. And you know, that's kind of weak. It's kind of weak. You have to find your strength. You have to find your courage. And you have to find the ability to restrain yourself from popping off on people. Somebody just doesn't have the strength to let go of something that is financially stable or financially, oh, uh, it's helping them financially. You know, it's some sort of uh, asset. Can't let go of something that's an asset, but there's no love in it. And therefore, that's your choice that you choose. And so you're not making the right choice, so you're suffering. Somebody needs to move. Because they're dealing with a situation that's going nowhere. It's caused so much lack of focus. I mean, there's no... Somebody is so distracted by this childish behavior. It's like you're dealing with children here, but you're one of them. No offense, I'm, I'm just saying. If you can't face the unknown, if you can't face your fears, if you, you know, we have some people here that are just not as mature as they need to be. And one of them could be you. And I'm sorry, we all go through it. I'm not saying I'm immune because I'm not. It takes a lot of strength and it takes maturity and it takes courage and it takes willpower to release something that you've been holding on to that doesn't really serve you. Somebody's not being practical. They're just holding on to the asset. When they have an opportunity to go down a new road, to broaden their horizons, you're being presented with an opportunity to move on from something. But you're delaying, you're delaying your own success by not doing it. <laughs> so I don't see, I don't see you guys, oh, I don't know, are you guys going to do it? <clears throat> I do apologize, I don't know where these throat issues are coming from, but there's communication issues as well. So where you guys do it? 
make that decision. But there's fear of loneliness. I don't want to be alone. Somebody needs to take that mask off. Stop pretending that everything is okay. See it for what it is. It's like you guys are going through a uh, pile of emotional turmoil because you're allowing somebody to hurt you. You're holding on to anxiety and resentment that needs to be released. Or release is huge here. Maybe you need to retreat. Maybe you need to, and you haven't done that yet. You need to retreat. You need to rethink. You need to come up with plan B. You need to take a step back. You need to really, really focus. And you've lost your focus. And the only way to do that is to go out on your own and do it on your own. So I feel like there's there's a there's a decision here that needs to be made. This this says, you know, I'm going to I'm going to go by myself for a little while. Or for whatever, whatever. I need to be by myself. I need to go by myself to heal and and figure out where I'm going in life. You need to reevaluate. And it's like you're trying to skip that step, you know. Nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to fix you. You need to take a time out and reevaluate your whole situation. Because it looks to me like somebody needs to move, like literally move, like move. But they're not choosing to do so because they're comfortable, but they're not comfortable. And there's like this fear of growing old alone, fear of, you know, not getting any support, fear of, you know, if I go, if I do move, I won't know anybody, whatever. No. You have the opportunity to bring success to your life once you take action. And once you do take action, things will happen fast. You'll get the justice that you deserve. But until then, you're going to live in strife and resentment and anxiety and mental turmoil because you're not making the right choice because... You know, right now, you just don't have the strength to do so. But you're going to have to find the strength to do so because you're going to get more unhealthy as the days go by. Because I see somebody's health is declining because they're not making the right decision. Retreats. Maybe you need to go on a retreat. Maybe you need to go to, I don't know, get some help somewhere. I don't know. Away from these people that are causing so much drama in your life? No. This is unhealthy. It's unstable. It may provide a roof, but that's it. I see that you guys are going to be in the... This is a time of making a decision in regards to... Do I stay or do I go? And I see that the overall outcome is releasing, forgiving, and leaving the past behind. So you be, may be making the decision, making the decision, making the decision to release and go. Making that judgment call to release and go. Looks like you guys, that's what's happening this month. You're, you're, you're in the process of saying goodbye. I mean, that's what this looks like to me. We're going to get a couple of these. Now, this could be in, gar in regards to a roommate. It could be in regards to a relationship. could be in regards to a job. could be in regards to all three because I see a lot of strife. A lot of strife. Somebody hasn't chosen, made the right decision, you know, based on codependency issues. They don't want to be alone. Well, part of life is finding strength, you know, and sometimes you have to do that on your own. You got to do it alone. You got to find your. Nobody's gonna find that strength for you. The only one that's gonna find it is you. You you know, you have to do that part alone. Strength alone. Strength alone. So I see that somebody needs to be on their own. They need to go. 
Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You have somebody else. You have a better situation. Realize that. I can't, you know, I can't make this up. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. You know that it is. And I'm just here to remind you that nobody is going to help you. You're on your own. Find the strength within you. If you need help, seek professional help, okay? Because if you think that your friends and family are going to help you, it doesn't, it doesn't look probable. Somebody's holding you back. They're pretending to care. They don't care. They don't. They don't. They're holding you back. You have to make that decision to break free from every single thing that doesn't serve you. Or resent or, or resent what, what's happening be be resentful be restless be upset be angry go ahead. I mean if you don't make this move you're going to continue to grow more restless and resentful and your anxiety is going to grow and the tension is going to build up more and more and more you have to find the strength to let go of something that you can touch it but it's not love or fulfilling, emotionally fulfilling, plain and simple. So this is a time of breaking free. But it's in your hands. It's in Free will plays a part. So if you want to bring balance, if you want to get what you deserve, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with the people involved. And you have to walk away from the toxicity that's in your life. That's what I see. And I do love you guys. And people are not. I know that there's going to be some people that watch this. That are pissed off because I said that. That's the problem. You got to look at things like. Don't get pissed off. This is an opportunity to change your life. Yeah. Things aren't working out. You have to change it. Break free and you will find the soulmate or the soul connection or the optimal partnership. But you have to break free from something first. So December is about breaking free. That's what this is about. I'm not going to pretty it up and tell you some bullshit story. I'm sure you can find many that will. Good luck.